All right, so today I'm gonna be charting a little bit of legs and I wanted to bring you guys through it because today is marking the first day that I'm basically going to be starting a new program and I'm gonna link the program down below. If you guys have been following for a really long time, you know that me and Dave actually used to run this program like way, way, way back in the day and I kinda wanna switch it up. Um, I've been running my program forever. I ran Dave's DUP program, so I wanna kinda throw it back to there, to that program because I got insanely good results from it. So. I'm going to be starting that program today. Dave's also starting a program because neither of us have really been on like a super strict legs push pull split um, in like the last probably month to two, three months, something like that. So I took a deal a week and now a heavy single is just kind of, I, I want to work up to like a very modest heavy single basically. So I'll probably film a few sets of Dave's, his top sets and just kind of film the workout. So yeah, let's jump into it. Dave started setting up uh, his second or his power rack down in the basement to kind of like we're doing some work on there to complete the home gym um, and that's kind of what he was doing so yeah I figured that this video is going to be kind of short so I figured why not answer like a few questions from the Q&A post that I posted a significant like a long time ago um, and so one of the questions I actually got asked a lot was what do we think about social media in general? There is everything Elon Musk said in his last podcast with Joe Rogan. Do you know every single person watching this has, has to have seen that? Because it just has so many views in such a short period of time. Yeah, or heard about it. So basically, you just have to be conscious of what you're actually looking at. You should just know what you're going to social media for because 
getting a healthy level of, uh, of distraction in your life is good. Like watching a good movie, watching a YouTuber that can give you, you know, motivation or something like that is good. But when you see it as everything, like when you see social media or just social media personas or social media people as just like a way of life and you compare yourself to them and compare yourself to everybody online, it's definitely horribly negative. For example, especially Instagram, I feel like on Instagram, I mean, I can say for both of us, we only post, we're gonna post our best pictures, best lighting, best angles, best everything. In a way, right, you could look at that and look like that at all, like I'm never gonna look like that, but in reality, it's the best possible situation. There's a massive pump, best lighting, angles, all that. Or for example, there's gonna be times in my life where I feel shitty, feel down on myself, feel like I'm not gonna be successful in life. You're gonna have those moments, but for example, when you see Oh, like I'm all over Thailand, I'm in Thailand, I'm in Florida, I'm doing this, and you don't really see any of the negative things. Um, and I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. I don't necessarily think I should just post a bunch of negative stuff on social media and be negative, but you just kind of have to take everything with a grain of salt, I feel like. Yeah, I think that's pretty well said. <laughs> <laughs> what video editing software do you use, and how do you learn to edit your videos in such a professional manner? Well, basically, what I do is I have no fucking idea. Dude, what do you do? I mean, me, I use Final Cut. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. Um, like, I feel like when it comes to just, prof like, like, de in, depending on which context, like, we're talking about, let's just say for, like, a typical, like, YouTube vlog, like, what would yeah. we define as professional, right? I would say things as having your audio not be out of whack, too loud in some areas, too quiet in others, not abruptly come in, so let's say one clip ends when the next clip's audio starts is is it does it hit you like really loud and throw you off or is it nice and smooth like just it's oh, basically I, yeah i'd say like yeah. to make it look good it just has to be you just have to do the very simple things just right and just like i'd say yeah the best thing just attention to detail and it's just really not harder when it comes to editing like the actual things you could do are fairly limited when it comes to basic editing it's just cutting clips around rearranging them and just like playing with the audio and just that that's like an, a really oversimplified view of it but that's just the gist of it so if yeah. you and just it's just attention to detail like for me like sometimes i'll be editing a small segment and i'll play it through and something will be off i can't articulate it. i can't quite put my finger on it but i know something's not right so i just keep going on and on and on until i can replay it again and i'm like fully satisfied and i just like intuitively know that this is just how it should be. And then I proceed to the next frame of the video, the next frame. And, then, <laughs> and it takes 17 months. For <laughs> yeah, and that's, why, and that's why I upload like once every six months. Like I just like do one frame a day. Um. <laughs> Cut it done. <laughs>